Yes, I am taking sides. I take the side of human rights. Human rights for the Palestinians who are being oppressed, whose lands are being stolen and occupied. For their equality, for freedom, for justice against occupation and oppression. Coming out of the Holocaust has always uh, enforced in me a feeling of, uh, that the world needs, needs justice. Justice for people who are oppressed. Therefore, I have throughout my life been an activist with the people who are oppressed. Thanks God that church is taking side because God himself chose to take side. Uh, and so if the church wants to follow Jesus, we have to take side. And to be just indifferent or to think that you are objective, then basically you are siding with the powerful against the powerless. If we are a church, if we are the church, then I think we should follow in the footsteps of our Lord and Savior, daring to stand up for the truth. And when we are taking sides, we are taking sides for justice. And we have the same right to critique any side that is being unjust. So on that level, we are not taking sides, but we are doing the right thing as a church, being prophetic enough and daring enough to keep telling the truth. You are taking the side of justice. A boycott is not against people. It is against a system of injustice. And a boycott, like all other nonviolent tactics, is aimed at changing the status quo. The status quo is protected by institutions and organizations that are able to continue uh, without, with impunity and without accountability and therefore a boycott represents, it's very important when an institution engages in nonviolent direct action which is being asked for by people who are the targets of massive viol systemic structural violations of their human rights. If the Israeli government would enforce these rights these human rights, the Palestinians would benefit, the Jews would benefit, and the world would benefit. <laughs>